how are we doing welcome to let's talk about jesus with favor adibawale this is your first time welcome or as i say in swahili karibu and um, if you're returning i'm glad that you're here welcome um today we'll be talking about jesus i mean it's called let's talk about jesus right but we're talking about is jesus coming back again you know i've heard this several times people you will say ah me i had have been hearing my grandfather has been hearing that jesus is coming back since 1960 and now he has still not come back and all that talk and um i just find it i find it interesting when i hear people talk like that they're like ah hmm, me i don't know if jesus is coming back would they've been saying it especially if you grew up in a religious country like mine or if you're if you grew up in a family that is religious so is jesus coming back again yeah. um you already you probably already know the perspective perspective i will be talking from since i'm christian um but i just want to give you some scriptural references to prove um that jesus is coming back you might you might decide it might convince you it might not i'm not the one to convince you the holy spirit is the one to convince you but i would expect that after this you go and study your bible more and um ask the lord to reveal things to you praise god so just to start um i'd like to read first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18 so if you have your bible i would encourage you to open the scripture with me for the lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the tri trumpet of god and the dead in christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the lord therefore comfort one another with these words the second scripture i would read is matthew 24 that is 7 to 39 as it was in the days of noah so will be at the coming of the son of man when the days before the flood people were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage up to the day up to the day um noah entered the ark and he knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away that is how it will be at the coming of the son of man now if you have time i would encourage you to read noah um genesis sorry genesis chapter 6 to seven and just see what happened because the lord jesus was telling his disciples like in the days of noah you know but from what he says here people were eating drinking marrying being given out in marriage just living life in general and did not expect that the flood will come they did not expect and that's how many people live today they live their lives lots of us live our lives not thinking about tomorrow some people don't even think ah i will get old <laughs> what seeds am i sowing today you know so we some of us we live our lives not thinking that we'll get old not thinking that we will die not thinking that jesus is coming again but i want you to know that jesus is coming again if from the time scholars say that from the time the lord spoke to noah till the time the flood came was about 120 years now that's a very long time and of course i will not blame all those people that were mocking him and all that because it's like ah bros you keep saying if a flood is coming and this is something they had never seen before the rain had never fallen on the earth before that time no one has ever jesus i mean besides the disciples seeing the lord ascend to heaven we never you it's not common no one has ever seen a being come from come from outer space you know so this is something that would not that it's not um it has never happened before just like in noah's days where rain had never fallen before and so i can understand why people have been skeptical and are saying is this jesus coming back and all that but i think i believe that it's important that we carry it in our hearts you know to prepare for even if jesus doesn't come back in in your generation when you're living in this time if you die where will you end up you know where, where will you be you know if you die jesus has come for you so it is important that you prepare yourself you're going to get old <laughs> you will die one day and and if you don't if you don't die jesus might come before then so prepare prepare yourself 
prepare yourself for, for the coming of Jesus. There is heaven. You know, we think of heaven as this beautiful place and the presence of God is there and all that. But if you reject God right now on this earth, if you reject Jesus, if you reject fellowship with God, when you die and leave this planet, God is not going to force you to come into a relationship with him. You will go to a place where he's not there, which is hell. You know, and it's not he's not trying to be mean, he's not trying to punish you, it's just you you're making a choice right now on earth. So I encourage you, instead of going to church on Sunday and then from Monday to Saturday living a life that is is not worthy of God, living a life gossiping, stealing, fornicating, you know, just being involved in things that do not show godliness. Why don't you rethink your steps? Why don't you begin to think about tomorrow you know think about death think about the coming of jesus because he is coming instead of terrorizing your husband or terrorizing your wife um why don't you retrace your steps begin to live a life that is worthy of god you can't go to church on sunday lift up hands and then the rest of the week not to live for god Praise God. So my um, encouragement today, my sh this short exhortation, the point of all of this is to encourage you that one, Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back for people who are ready. Now, he doesn't expect you to be perfect. But he expects that when you fall, you will pick up yourself and you will continue your work with him. Praise God. So Jesus is just coming back for a church that is spotless, you know. And he's coming back very soon. Yes, we've never seen it any time where a being came out of, from outer space and people um, people resurrected and all that. But we'll see it. We will see it. And you don't want to be shocked. If I'm wrong, I have nothing to lose. But if you are wrong, you have everything to lose. Praise God. And so God has sent me to you today to let you know that he loves you. And that you should make a choice. He is coming back. It is not it is not false to say that Jesus is coming back. He is coming back. He is coming back. I hope this video has encouraged you to make the step in pursuing God. If you would like to give um receive the life of Jesus or strengthen your relationship with God or reestablish or maybe just reestablish with God, I encourage you to say these words with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your name. Lord, your word says, if I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you came, you died and you resurrected, that I shall be saved. And so today, Lord, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you came to earth, you died and you resurrected and you're currently with the Father. Please forgive me my sin of unbelief and uh, welcome me to your kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. You said that prayer with me. Yay! Welcome to the family. You can leave um, a comment below or you can send me a DM on Instagram, contact me on Facebook, whatever works for you. And we will continue from there. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope this video blessed you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.